Hello everyone, this is uh, Teacher, Teacher Wayne, I'm continuing my um, video blog of how to um, do various things in Unreal Engine. Last week I looked at sort of AI movement but it was sort of like a random movement. This week I'm going to be focusing on AI movement uh, and again an AI character patrol between two points here you are you can see I've got my demo running I've got this AI guy he's running between two predefined points and he just literally will run backwards and forwards but I've also got him so if he senses me he will come and intercept me and then continue back on his path often in games that we play these days we have characters, AI characters, uh, NPCs that patrol between various points and they'll only move from this predefined uh, search pattern if they detect the character. Now can you see how he spotted me there? He came to me and now he's continuing his path because he, he what's done as pawn sensed me. Now if I move nearer, this becomes a bit more clear. Uh, come on. There you are, he sees me. Uh, it chases after me and then it goes back to the patrol and this is what we want now usually when this happens when he when he sort of engages with me later on might be looking at videos how he can engage in combat with me and how I can lose health but for now I just want to do this AI patrol and then him actually chasing up with me so let me show you that so that is uh, another project I'll just move over to one side and I'll use that as a reference so here we are Got a standard uh, third person game set up. Uh, there's nothing special in this, it's just blank. So as I did in the other one, you go into blueprints. First thing we're gonna do is we get the third person character and I'll actually just duplicate it, keeps things simple. I wanna call that my AI character. Character, okay. So I'm going to simply go into there. I'm going to edit him. Uh, drag the tab go up there. And we're going to get rid of all that junk. Uh, let's get rid of that as well. Uh, and go into viewport. We don't need the camera. Uh, but he does need the pawn sensing. So we add character. And then we scroll down to pawn sensing. There it is. And click compile. Click on it again and change the, the view to about 45 I'll just tap in 45 now obviously you can adapt uh, you're going to change that and then we're going to uh, edit it etc etc so go back here and then we're going to add this character before that I'm going to move the main character I want to move him out of the way a little bit so that he doesn't get in the way of this character patrolling so we're gonna have the AI character I will just move him to there for now right we want him to patrol between two points now first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do this nav mesh bounds why do we do nav mesh bounds well that is the navigational mass that we uh, navigational mesh that the AI character can patrol the full range and we just stretch this over the area we want to do it so I want to quickly just stretch this around I showed this in my previous videos um, and I'll just quickly stretch this about to sort of fill up the room uh, that's got the width right If I press P, there you, are, you can see that it's covering, it just doesn't, doesn't quite cover that back wall, but I'm not that bothered. I think that covers most of what I want to do. Might want to make it a bit uh, higher so it can actually, it goes up the stairs a bit. Can you see I want him to cover right up to there as well. So there we are, press P again to get rid of that. And there we are, we've got a nav mesh bounce. Now also we need two patrol points. Uh, so I just tap in here tar oops tar and there yeah, can you see target point so I want to patrol between this point and this point so I just grab target point drag it where I start so I'll start there target point I want him to end there 
And there are the two points. Can you see target point one, target point two? These are I've lost them now. Rather. Oh there they are. There's one and there's the other. So there's the two target points. So we do that first of all, we do that in our scene. Next thing we're going to do is going to go into the A character uh, and we're going to do the, some uh, work in the blueprint now so we can actually do this patrolling. So let's open that up. And I've already done that. Uh, compile that and go back to event graph. Now I'm just referring to the other example I showed you earlier. I'm just going to pull that up. I'm going to be moving stuff across from there to before and just go through some of the stuff because I don't like reinventing the wheel. So let me just copy and paste this across first. Oops. So we want ah we want this business happening here. We want the this is the on port um on sea pawn the pawn sensing so basically if he sees us he moves towards us and that's that and then we have an event we always have an event big in play but what we also want is we want to put this ai patrol we're going to have this one here for even case he sees us and basically when he sees us this is triggered off in the on, on sea pawn bit and the on sea pawn bit is set basically because i just clicked that there click that there it pulled it into there and it basically means when I see it in its navigational range which is set in the main AI character when I set that viewing angle and I set the range you might want to adjust that it did that but now I'm going to create a new uh, f uh, custom function so I'll just basically it's custom function custom event sorry I'll call this one AI patrol because that's what he's going to do AI patrol Control. Right, so what's it going to do? Well, I wanted to move between two points. Now, because it's going to be doing one point and then going to another one, it's going to be what's known as flip flopping between them. So we're going to use the new function called flip flop. So I'll just do this and type in flip flop, and there it is. It's got this funny little N on it. And it's going to do an A, and then when it completes A, it's going to do B. Basically, it's going to move between the two points. So it's going to do an AI move to. I'll just go to that, Control C. And control V, copy and paste. If you use Word, you can use blueprints. It's that simple. So on A is going to do that. Also, let me just do this again. Because also we want oops. Uh, on B is also going to move to. Now where is he going to move to? Well, he's going to move between these two points. So first thing I'm going to do is I need to create some variables. These are special variables. Let me show you how to do that. So add a variable. And we're going to have uh, first point. First point is going to move to, or first location, let's call it that. First location. Uh, and it's going to be, if we scroll down here, we're going to go to a specific type. So I think it's, where is it? This is where it gets complicated. Object type, I think it's a per target point. Hang on. scroll up here there you are it's, it's quite difficult to find but they are target point and you get this funny little symbol here it's a target point and there you are and then I'll just simply create another variable and we're going to call this uh, second point now technically we could do lots of points uh, lots of patrol areas you could do but I'm not going to show that in this video second uh, location okay so it's going to move between the first location and second let's make it if you click on the open eyes that means it's it's a it's a public variable and we can we need to make it public because it's going to be located outside this uh, uh script so uh first point let's get that one and second one let's just get that one so we're going to move between first point and second point so the first point that's going to be the target actor there Second point, that's going to be the target actor there. 
pawn oh that's going to be the self so who is it we're talking about our self self as in the ai character not self as in the player character so let's go through this so we compile it as well so ai patrol function is a it goes it moves the destination it target actor in other words the location it's going to go to is the first location who's going to move and myself on success or fail i'll go through that in a minute and success or fail we're going to call ourselves again ai patrol so ai patrol there we are so success or fail we call itself success or fail we call ourselves why would it fail wayne well simple if the character if the enemy sees us it will do a move towards us so we want this to link with it as well that's going to be ai patrol as well ai patrol i've already gone through this uh oops i didn't mess, mess that up ai patrol there we are we have i went through this in the last video event begin play is going to be calling ai patrol So we've got two functions going on here. We've got on C pawn. So in other words, compile this. It will either it will move to interceptors or this one by default patrols the two points. So let's go back to our map here. And let's go back to our character. Now this AI character needs to refer to these two points. It doesn't know which two points. If you look over here, uh, scroll to the right can you see ai character i've done a capital h for some reason never mind scroll right down here and you get this word default let me just scroll down it's really important it took me a while to figure this out i messed it up a loads of times until i figured out this bit here first location second location first location is target point one second location is target point two a lot of the other people youtubers out there who are trying to do stuff like this seem to forget this obvious point and you end up going lost uh, when you're trying to do other people's tutorials so I'd figure that one out now myself um, so let me just save this and let me just press play and let's see what happens here we go let's get up this ramp oh he's seen me <laughs> he's got he's like a hunter seeker this guy will you go away and go back to your patrol mate please let's go pack it is he following me oh, go away ah there he goes he's found me he's done his delay half a second he's off again and he's doing his patrol now now we'll do that until he sees me again and there he goes he sees me hopefully he'll come up to touch me and then i'll go back to his patrol he goes I found you right i'm off again and he likes to he's got a, basically if to make him less sensitive i'd have to edit the on scene pawn but anyway that is the end of my video i hope you uh learned something guys and girls and this is uh teacher wayne signing off thank you and goodbye